Clifford, Clifford's Puppy Days, Graduation Day, The Howard family loved their little red puppy, but Clifford was making mischief. Clifford tried to run away in the park. Then Clifford sneaked food from the table. Clifford knocked over the trash can and chewed up Mr. Howard's best shoes. Emily Elizabeth told Clifford, you need to go to puppy school. Clifford was worried at first, but puppy school was fun. When the puppy trainer told Clifford to sit, Clifford rolled around on his back. Down, the puppy trainer said to Clifford, but Clifford tore up the grass. Come, the puppy trainer called to Clifford. He chased a butterfly instead. Clifford was not a very good student. Clifford needs practice, Mr. Howard explained to Emily Elizabeth. Can you help him? Will I have time to learn my words for the spelling bee and help Clifford with his puppy school commands? Emily Elizabeth wondered. Many of your spelling words are the same commands Clifford has to learn, Mrs. Howard said, holding up one of Emily Elizabeth's flashcards. Maybe you and Clifford could help each other. That's a great idea. Emily Elizabeth said. Okay, Clifford, you are going to graduate from puppy school and I'm going to win my school spelling bee, Emily Elizabeth said. But we have to work together. Emily Elizabeth read her first flashcard aloud. Sit, S-I-T. Then she showed Clifford how to sit and he sat. Good boy, Clifford, Emily Elizabeth said. Emily Elizabeth read another flashcard. Down, D-O-W-N. Then she showed Clifford how to lie down, and he did it. Great job, Emily Elizabeth shouted. This time, when the puppy trainer told Clifford to sit, he sat right at her feet. When the puppy trainer said down, Clifford laid down on his belly. Clifford looked at Emily Elizabeth and wagged his tail. He would graduate from puppy school after all. Emily Elizabeth was so proud of Clifford, but she was still nervous about her spelling bee. She didn't need to worry. With Clifford's help, she had learned all her words and won. Thank you, Clifford. I couldn't have done it without you. Emily Elizabeth whispered. Clifford licked her nose and thought the same thing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And for more Clifford stories, check out my Clifford playlist. And if you enjoyed the story, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also hit that notification bell to be notified of new videos as soon as they come out.